and you want to learn how to create this crazy mass cutout effect inside of After Effects, it's a really unique one and I'm actually a huge fan of it. So I'll be breaking it down step by step in this tutorial. So let's get right into it. So I'm in After Effects. And if y'all haven't realized, I'm actually posting daily tutorials this month. So every single day, y'all better tap in to get some new sauce. But I got this clip right here from this Netspend and Osama some music video. Add some masks so we can start off like here in the first frame i got this text here in the background so i'll select the rectangle tool right here and then just mask it out on the adjustment layer and then i'll add on a transform effect and with this transform effect if you want to set the anchor point you could go ahead and do that before we start adding all of the effects just set the anchor point to the middle right there and then copy the anchor point settings to your position settings and then when we scale it up it will be perfect just like that so what i could do with this one is basically just scale it up and then i'll cut it like here two frames in and then i'll actually move it right there and then i'll duplicate it move it two frames in and here i'll scale it down actually just like that and we could create more duplications of this and just simply move it around and you'll get some cool looks so right here we got the big one and then the smaller one so we can basically just keep this going so duplicate the big one move it over here and then duplicate the smaller one move it over there so now we got this and that's cool and we'll add a lot more in a second so now we got this going on for a couple of frames like four frames and that's cool i'll just size this down a little bit like that so i can have some variation in here and then let's see what else we can mask out like the door is a great one so i'll create a new adjustment layer and just mask out the door frame right here all the way up there and then down here again yeah basically just like that and then once again i'll add on the transform effect onto this layer and when we size and then once again i'll just move the anchor point to the middle of my door basically like right here should be good and then i'll copy the anchor point settings onto my position just like this so now when i size it up it will be a little bit better so i'll just randomly size it up for the first two frames and then here it will go back and then i'll have it pasted in here like every two frames so now it looks like this we spiced it up in a good way and if you want to like for example have this loser text cut out to a different place then just duplicate your layer grab the rectangle tool and just mask it out like this and then we could move it like over here if you want to just to random places so we can get more of that glitchy look and then i'll just duplicate this mask go in one frame and just have it like at a random place let's do i'm not sure let's just do right here and i'll do both of them two frames long and put two frames in between just like that i just did some random stuff and now i got this going on which is actually great and like for the first frame right here what i could do is like duplicate this layer and just mask out the bed or what's it called the mattress that they got right here i'll just mask it out i'll just skip the girl fuck that shit and to center my icon point i'll just hold control and double click on this pan behind just like that and then my anchor point is centered so for the first two frames right here i'll have them sized up and then just remove it just like that and right here we got a lot more to work with so right here i'll create a new adjustment layer or actually i'll just delete the adjustment layer and i'll just duplicate the clip instead so for the radio that you see or what the fuck is that that's like a fucking microwave i think uh i'll just be masking it out on the clip instead of the adjustment layer so i can have it cut out just like that and then i could basically move it wherever i want to like right here and i can duplicate it and i can size it up as well just like this and then like have it there for two frames then duplicate this mask leave two frames between and i'll just fucking put it right here and we can rotate it as well just put the anchor point to the middle and then just rotate it like that we could actually do the same for this text right here just put the anchor point to the middle and rotate it and right here where it comes closer to the camera i'll start masking out his face so i'll create an adjustment layer and i'll use the rectangle tool and just mask him out like this that way we could spice it up in a few different ways so i'll add on the transform effect once again as you might have guessed and this time i'll just put the anchor point right in the middle right here and copy the anchor point settings to the position and now when we scale it we'll have it like that 
This nigga looks like a fucking Robux character. I'll just have him sized up like that. And we can add on like an invert effect to kind of spice it up a little bit. And we can mess with the settings. The saturation looks good and the luminous often do as well. Maybe not this time, but this is what we got. And then I'll leave like two frames. No, actually I'll just duplicate this layer and then remove the mask and the invert. And I'll just remask his face because he's moving. And this time I'll put the scale like negative or not negative, but to a lower number, just like that. So we can have a lot of stuff going on, but this is what it looks like. And I'll actually copy this invert effect and paste it onto a few different adjustment layers, like maybe the door right here and maybe everything like just like that. And then right here, I'll paste it as well. And right here. So now we got this look going on. I can definitely add a little bit more to it. Just like that that's a cool look and maybe like right here i could mask him out again so create a new adjustment layer this time i could use like the star tool is a cool one right here and we could just mask his face out as a star let's see what it looks like and then just set the anchor point to the middle and we could and then add the transform effect and then we just got to set the anchor point to the middle right here copy the anchor point settings to the position and then just size it up yeah that looks a bit goofy but fuck it maybe we could rotate this as well we have to do it in the transform tab so like right there we could do it for this one as well if you feel like it just rotate it like that or i'll actually have this for three frames and for the or four frames and for the first two i'll have it rotated and for the second two i'll have it go back to normal and maybe just size it down a little bit like this so now we got to do a little bit more with the background as well because i kind of just skipped that we can do a little bit more with the microwave so i'll just create a new adjustment layer and mask out the microwave using the pen tool so i'll just go around like this simple mask and then i'll add on the invert effect onto that and then maybe like a deep glow now that looks horrible i'll delete the deep glow and let's just add a transform of it and then i'll set the anchor point right there to the middle and once again copy the copy the anchor point uh, settings so now this is basically what we got and it looks sick actually so i'm a huge fan of this now basically just add an adjustment layer on top of everything and i'll open up the vfx kit right here which is my new plugin that i just dropped and in this plugin we got a bunch of different effects for the v1 version we're at 150 effects in total which is absolutely mind-blowing and here we got rotor effects shakes transitions grunge effects hits speed ramps and crt effects so we have a lot to choose from so i'll open up the grunge tab because that kind of fits the scene so i'll open up the grunge tab so here at the top we got a bunch of glitch effects that's kind of how i organize them and here we get into that kind of brain rot look we got the static effect we got brain rot look effects we got some more cartoonish effects and here we got a lot of grunge effects and yeah basically just a lot of effects in total basically just a lot of effects right here now for this scene since we already got so much going on i would not go for an effect like the static one because this one is also very heavy so maybe like this brain rot look effect so i'll just simply click the preview and it will add it onto my adjustment layer just like that and then we could also tweak the settings if you feel like it like i want to keep the frame rate at 12. i just changed the posterized time to 12 and i also want to turn down the glitch look as you can see it's really low quality right now i think it's something like this will look good if i play it through so i'll just change the preview quality to full and then i'll play it through and just like that i have a sick effect going on we could tweak the settings a little bit more just to like lower some of the settings because right here you can barely see the masks so that's basically what i'll do just for my personal preference but this effect was a sick one and this is basically the final effect and i usually don't even glaze myself this much but this plugin is a game changer to be honest so i'll leave the link to it in the description if you want to go and check it out for yourself as well as my other preset packs but once again thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed make sure to tune in tomorrow because i'm posting daily so i'll drop new sauce tomorrow but once again thank you so much for watching if you watched this far and i'll see you in the next one